What's up guys? How's it going? So today is actually one of my friend's birthday. So we are actually going to the waterfall for the day and I'm going to bring you guys along through this camera. The rainy season is just finishing so it's been raining a ton. So my guess is the waterfall is going to have loads of water compared to some other times of the year when it's a bit drier. Yeah, the water looks a little bit clearer than other, other times of the year. It's gonna be a long hike all the way up. Now I have no idea how that happened, but it looks like someone was drawing on this leaf, but it doesn't look like someone was, would draw that. I don't know, I don't know how that happened. So I actually took this walkway up that's up in the mountains a little bit. If I wanted, I could walk through the river, but it takes much longer. And if I take this passageway right here, which is a little bit in the mountains, I can get to the waterfall a bit quicker. So that's what I'm doing. I have to walk up oh. massive stairs, which came straight out of Kung Fu Panda. Oh. We are done at the waterfall. It was a really fun time. I jumped from the second waterfall, first waterfall as well as the second waterfall, and now we are heading out of here. Been here for 
maybe a couple of hours, pretty fun time. So many steps. Done with the walk down from the waterfall. <laughs> It is kind of a common walkway, so there is sometimes a bit more people walking this, so it's kind of like easy to find the pathway. But it's one of the most fun waterfalls that I know of in this, that I've ever been to actually. Really fun. Just returned from the waterfalls. Wow, that was just, just an experience. I think I got the most adrenaline that I have ever had in my life so far. Jumping from that waterfall, like I had this fear inside of me, like, oh man, I don't want to jump. But then you jump and you're just like, oh, and like on camera, it makes the waterfall look way smaller than it looks like when you're in the air. Because you're, you feel like you're falling for like, like a couple seconds, which means you're falling for a while. You're like, ah, boom. And you just like have this awesome feeling. You're just like, wow. You're just like, oh, I want to go do that again. So yeah, that was super fun. Awesome birthday party. The big jump that we were doing was like 30 to 40 feet. Not like crazy massive, but a pretty good height for a jump into the water, right over the waterfall. Some fun waterfall jumping. So yeah, this is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. But first, I'd like to give a special thanks to Zoom. Zoom is like almost like a classroom, and they like they make like films and learn about filmmaking and editing and stuff. And they have actually been subscribed to my channel for quite a while now, and they did support me on my campaign. So I'd just like to give a thanks to Zoom because they have dedicated um, some of their videos to my, my, um, my Doom Awesome stuff way of thinking. To me, it's a real honor to have a classroom that learns about filmmaking and editing choose me as one of, the, one of their inspirations because I am all self-taught. All of my filmmaking and editing skills that I have, I have all self-taught and learned on my own. So to have a classroom that is learning about that, get inspiration from me, is a true honor. So. Zoom and everyone in the classroom, thank you guys a ton. Thank you for all the support. And of course, if you'd like to check out their YouTube channel, I will leave it in the description. And as I usually do, a positive quote. Today's positive quote is, people think being alone makes you lonely, but I don't think that's true. Being surrounded by the wrong people is the loneliest thing in the world. So what this quote means to me is, I think I've kind of talked about this in the past, but I'll talk about it again, is definitely it's very important to not surround yourself by the wrong type of people. So if you surround yourself by people who are always being negative about everything, it's gonna have an impact on you and make you start to be negative. You're definitely way better off surrounding yourself with people who are positive, who maybe inspire you, who you maybe look up to. And also, don't think that to have a great time or to have an awesome experience, you have to do it with a bunch of other people. Like you can have the most awesome experiences without like, like a group of like 10 or 20 people. So don't always think that, oh, I need to be with a bunch of friends or I need to be with a bunch of people to go maybe do an adventure or to go maybe go do this. Definitely don't think that you need to rely on other people to have an awesome time. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what's the craziest thing that you've done that's given you the most awesome adrenaline ever. Remember to keep always doing more awesome stuff and I will see you tomorrow early in the morning.